I'm Brad Larson. I'm a principal scientist with Biotech Instruments. The Citation 5 is a combination cell imager and microplate reader. So it allows you to perform typical assays such as absorbance, fluorescence, or luminescence assays that you would perform with a microplate reader. But now you can also perform microscopy or imaging based assays that give you the ability to actually see the cells in the well to determine changes that may happen during the experiments that a researcher is performing. There's a number of different ways that researchers are looking to use cells cultured in 3D. One of the areas that we have identified is to use this type of technology, combining the spheroid microplates and the Citation 5, to look at long-term toxicity studies using neurocells. Therefore, by combining these two technologies together, we create an easy way to perform these types of studies that will be repeatable and robust and give researchers the data that they need to make the correct decisions for the molecules that they will be testing in the future. We've identified the spheroid microplates as a technology that we want to work with for a number of different reasons. The plates use a clear bottom which allows us to not only perform microplate reading but also imaging to see the spheroids. The round bottom that is included with the plates also allow the cells to form into a single consistent spheroid from well to well which makes the data that is generated from these types of plates very reproducible and very robust. The combination of Corning's microplates and the Citation 5 allows you to do a number of different types of assays. Obviously microplate reader assays that you would normally perform but also now with the incorporation of their clear bottom tissue culture treated plates we can perform microscopy based assays and also with their high content line of microplates we can also perform assays that require higher magnification such as 20, 40 or 60x that give you a larger amount of information from this type of assay. Other plates on the market sometimes incorporate a dual plate configuration where cells are formed into a spheroid in a hanging drop type of a configuration which then once the cells are aggregated into the spheroid then will have to be dropped into a second microplate. This can be done but is sometimes problematic, can increase the risk of failure within the assay and also increases the complexity in the assay protocol. With the use of the spheroid microplates, this eliminates the complexity by allowing the cells to form into a spheroid and also for the assay to be performed in a single microplate.